wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back to Phoenix Siwaki, and welcome back to the Underdark. <laughs> Sirenscape finishes up very nicely. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you, my lovely players, and you over there in chat as well. Thank you very much for joining us on our adventures wherever and whenever you can. Cos, Nuclean, Daisy, Sense, good to see you all. I've got the candle keep crew in the house. Hello, hello. <laughs> Those minus the dearly departed Greyra. We lost a character on on Saturday. I'm sure. I'm sure we won't lose two in the, within the space of one week. It'll be fine. <laughs> F's in chat for Greyra. Scary shadows against level two babies. <laughs> I, I swear to God, the the um the one quarter. One quarter CR rating of shadows is wrong. It lies. <laughs> it's so scary. Although they are famous for being scary low-level things. All right. Okay. But as that is on Saturday, so we are here on a Wednesday, Thursday, depending where you are in the world, to get, carry on with our Out of the Abyss campaign. Now, a big shout out to everyone in the VOD squad as well. Thank you for catching up with the um, VODs there. Nice to see you as always. And I hope that everyone is ready for a bit of action, a bit of stone elemental bashing, you know, corrupted stone elementals, um, rock elementals, and they are trying to reconsecrate the temple here, but we shall catch up with that properly in just a moment. Another massive thank you to our good friend CZRPG, um, who is sponsoring at the moment, as Streamlabs has prompted there. The giveaway is open, so exclamation mark enter for your chance to win the fabulous prize for today. And that said, let us also say a massive thank you to those at Sirenscape. Head on over to sirenscape.com for your chance to get a free trial and find out how fab it is. And uh, if you want to become a subscriber, Super Siren subscriber, you can do that as well and get it in your games um, after the trial is over. Now, there are also other sources of music that we like to use. If you head on over to our YouTube channel and have a look at any of the VODs there, all of the information boxes have links to all those channels there. And there's our Twitter and Instagram. Another place to get information about all the exciting things coming up on the channel. Um, but the best place to do that is to give us a follow and get yourself into our followers Discord, which is where everything is announced first and foremost. Um, today we announced, and I have announced it there so I can say it in other places as well, our two exciting one-shot roulette games that are coming up. We have two of them coming up. They find fabulous people from the Superior Adventurers Guild joining us at the end of this month. Then, at the start of next month, the artists and authors from the fabulous Uncaged series, a fantastic series of books, um, rethinking um, you know, um, uh, female um, figures in mythology. And they are joining us to celebrate their recent release, Uncaged Goddesses, tier four adventures, all of them, level 15 to level 20 adventures and um, against um, various goddesses from the D&D &D pantheon. So yes, do not miss out. We are going to be joined by four of the artists and one of the authors for that project. And I hope that you can join in as well. Now, that said, um, also keep your eyes open um, for news coming up on a special collaboration with Scarlet Song from the College of Inspiration as well. Let me quickly shout out her stuff. Boom, there it is. Um, there's the uh, Patreon that she runs where she does these fabulous adventures and maps and art every month. And also um, the Twitter and Twitch there as well. Right, so... Without further ado, let us remind ourselves what is going on. Oh no, I need to do one more thing. God, I always forget. <laughs> so many different things. Out of the Abyss Art, if you want some fabulous character art like ours here, you can head on over to Salad Man, aka Ryutoshi, on Instagram. And if you catch them with their commissions open, you can get some fantastic pieces like these that we are having here. Um, the only artist that I have also um, asked to do a picture of me as well. And uh, yes. You got it up here on the phone as well. <laughs> Lurking on the phone. Okay, right. So, if you want to grab some nice art, please head on over there and give them a look. Our good friend Zakan will be joining us in just a moment, but we do have Elora and Corvin here and they're ready to continue their battle in this deserted and desecrated temple of the rock gnomes of the Svarf Neblin of um, Blingdenstone down here in the Underdark as they are attempting to 
gain some favor and gain some good cred with the um, sort of Nebulin here, especially the ruling couple, um, the Digimotox who are in charge of everything. And hopefully they will be able to fight off these vicious stone elementals corrupted by the evil spirit um, Ogremoch um, that has corrupted the various elementals here which is a big problem for the uh, Swerf Nebulin, as they like to use them in mining and defense and all sorts of things. And they also have a few other things to try and deal with here. They're fighting against the um, various abyssal influences that seem to be creeping into the Underdark from wherever the uh, lowest caverns connect with that abyssal realm, as they have discovered influences of the Demon Lords and witnessed the Demon Lords themselves here in the Underdark, they've seen the Demogorgon rise up out of Dark Lake. They have seen Zuktamoy preparing for some sort of abyssal wedding ceremony. They have witnessed the effects of other demon lords as well, and demons um, loosed about in the um, dark here. Just to add to all the vastly dangerous things that are already down here. But they are curious about the large amount of oozes that seem to be drawn to this city. And there is also the problem, problem, issue, deal <laughs> that is going on with the were, uh, were rat population, two members of which are actually with our friends here, having been enslaved at the same um, location by the drow. And they escaped together and have been traveling together. and. They are hoping to introduce them back to their folks over there. <laughs> As my good friend Sense gives me disadvantage. Thank you, Sense. I shall remember that on Saturday. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. It's okay. We want to. We, we don't. We don't want another <laughs> player death. So <laughs> this is this is good. This is good. Okay. Hey, Rollerjacks, how you doing? Welcome, everybody. And Papa Dragon, good to see you as well, my friend. <laughs> Can't beat the dice, indeed, indeed. The, the the dice were not being very friendly on Saturday at all. <laughs> Their rolls, you know, the, like uh, anyone that uh, is familiar will know that shadows shadows do not have crazy amounts of um, hit points, but they just were not able to hit them as well. And oof, oof, it was rough. All right, okay. So let us jump into things here and find out who they are, who they're playing, and where they're at right now. Corbin. Sudden opposite direction is sudden. <laughs> muted, 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 muted. I know I was telling you to hey. calm down. Suddenly <laughs> switching things over. But I'm excited. Bye, everybody. It's I'm on Every day is d, &D. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I missed it last week. <clears throat> Bye, everybody. I'm a buns, and I'm playing Corbin, our changeling monk slash druid. Hoot, hoot. And uh, current, current dragon mama. Uh, um... I think right now they are hoping they can keep their hit points as, as high as they are currently. Uh, <laughs> but also, pretty pleased with <laughs> its wormlings and giant spiders on top. That <laughs> sounds bad, but Webster is very loved. True. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That, and yeah. skipping over our elderly female friend, as we discovered last time. Yeah. Zakan. Under all the under the mask and the bandages and everything is is a, a lady, which we did not know, um, and <laughs> thanks thanks Papa, um, and f over the other side there, Elora, please. Hello, my name is Sam. I play Elora. She is a high elf rogue assassin from a now destroyed city called Mistrader, who ran away from home to start an outlaw band with all of her kick ass friends. And uh, she met some lovely people after she was captured by the drow down here and is now uh, quite worried about the state of the world, mm -hmm. uh, both the Underdark and eventually the Forgotten Realms mm -hmm. once mm -hmm. these dark forces start to travel. Mm -hmm. um, and also worried about, you know, her home and uh, her, city, her destroyed city, who she's supposed to be queen of. So there's, a, yeah, there's a lot of her shoulders, I'd say. <laughs> there's a list. A, bit, a few bits of bobs. A few bits of bobs going on there. And last but not least, Zagan. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you playing? Where are they at? <laughs> Sudden. Hey. 
Hello. I'm, I'm Steven, and I'm uh, actually still in a meeting, but I thought I'd pop on for the, the intro real quick. <laughs> Shh. Um, I am playing uh, Zakan, who is our uh, Asamar ranger, and um, certainly certainly looks like a grandma under the mask. Um, hasn't really given any consideration to what they are in like over a hundred years, but <laughs> they're uh, they're a celestial, so <laughs> mm-hmm. they are what they are. Um, they have been in the Underdark for a long, long time and are uh, doing their best to... Oh, man, it's hard with <laughs> the other meeting the other. <laughs> they are doing their best to uh, do what they've always done, which is find people who are lost in the dark. And okay, you you might use muted, right? <laughs> in that meeting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope to God. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. It's good to see you, and yeah. uh, we shall see you properly in just a moment. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Disappears into the shadows. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So, as we return to Rockblight, the outskirts, the yet unreclaimed outskirts of Blingdenstone, we are in the thick of things. A Earth Elemental, corrupted Earth Elemental, has emerged from the wall to attack the adventurers seeking to reconsecrate this holy place and our adventurers along with their trusty friend Webster, who is in the mix at the moment. Although, have they got... Yeah, they've got two Ferocity at the moment. So, they're, they're on two Ferocity, eh? Because we're using our Matt Colville Beast Companion rules. Um, we have inspiration <laughs> for Papa Dragon. Uh, don't feel sorry for them, Papa Dragon. They, they have copious amounts of inspiration at the moment. They do not need more. <laughs> yes, everyone remember, you have... Lots and lots of inspiration. Uh, two become one. No, nope, other way around. One become two. <laughs> Not Spice Girls here. Okay, right. So, there we go, my friends. Let us get right back into the thick of it with the wonderful th- sounds from Sirenscape. Go! Oh, which I mean, just wait a moment because it might take up my second. Okay. There he is. Right, so, top of the round, Laura Illustrious over at the side of the cavern with the gigantic corrupted earth elemental swinging around them big meaty fists. Well, not very meaty at all, but you know what I mean. What would you like to do? <laughs> Cheers, Papa. I suppose after the last battle, having to hide in the shadows and... Uh, barely be able to hit. I think she's just gonna run right up with Dawnbringer and try to hit them with her sword. Nice. Go for it. Rawr. Attack! (laughs) That is a 17. Just hits. As Dawnbringer cuts into the tough, stony exterior of the creature. Okay, roll that damage. And that's going to be eight damage, and they have not taken an attack yet this round, right? Um, no. Okay, so then I roll sneak attack as well. Oh, you, I mean, you got sneak attack because of Corbin as well, so you're all good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. go. So that's 10, so 18 in total. 18 total with the magic, magic sword, right? Yes, radiant damage. Excellent. Okay, thank you. So yes, a... Massive cut through shatters as the sword clatters off the exterior of the creature. A huge crack um, appears in its surface. Um, Zakan, I was a bad DM and did not write my notes properly. And, the, and now it's been two weeks. What on earth is that symbol on you for? <laughs> Can you remember? Oh, the symbol. Um, the let icon. me see. What was it? Yeah, is there an effect on you at the moment? Oh, um, that's right. It's uh, my one of my very favorite spells. Uh, protection from good and evil. Ah, uh, excellent. Okay. And on the on the Earth Elemental, did you have, did you have it restrained? Is it in the net still? <laughs> I think it had not yet broken the net yet. Right? It's still in the net. Because <laughs> I, I think you decided that it was, it was not... Um, smart enough to think about it it was just kind of attacking <laughs> yeah right like, just mindlessly programmed sort mm-hmm. of thing mm-hmm. yeah. okay so, I think, I so think yeah that's where we were going this with. earth elemental is looking very worse it's not on its last legs just yet but it is looking very very bad all sorts of new cracks and fissures in its surface as you do battle with it with the 
um, the uh, stone monolith of the temple rising behind you. Okay, thank you. Which brings us to you, Zakan, with Corbin on deck. I think I have my bonus action. Yeah. Oh, excuse, yeah, excuse me a lot, yes. A lot of distance. Do that bonus. Distance that was, um, I think it was less than 30 feet, right? Oh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Okay. All right, yeah, on my offhand, I'm going to use my scimitar, my moon blade. Yes, indeed, the sun and the moon into play. And that's an 18. Okay, there you go. And then I only rolled a d6 for damage. Uh, just, yeah, just that one. And that's going to be four slashing damage. Note it. Thank you very much. Um, all right. Let's see here. Okay, so an extra four damage, which puts it on its last legs. Corbin. <laughs> Punch it into submission. Okay, boom, and boom. There we go. Red means on its last legs, which means it has 10 HP or less. Corbin, what would you like to do? Muted. What about me? What about, what about poor old Zakine? No, I'm sorry. I mean, you gave up your turn so that Elora could take her bonus action. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's me. That's me scrolling the. Uh, happy, to <laughs> no, no, okay. happy to do it. No, no, it's okay. Happy to do it. I'm being being silly. <laughs> get him, um, get him in before Fury of Blows comes, because that's just. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it's it's gonna be over in a moment. <laughs> Kill steal. <laughs> Corbin was like, was like windmilling it. Like, right, I won't ready. snipe you, Zakan. Put I me in, I coach. Won't... Put me in. <laughs> right. I'm over in the corner. <laughs> Spit bucket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Zaka. Um, so I, I think I had um, specified that I that I was like at a ten foot distance because um, mm -hmm. I was thinking about doing something that had a five foot range. But gotcha. um, in that case, I think You're all we're way, going yes. to do, mm -hmm. yeah, is we're just going to uh, swing the old glaive, butter, butter, butter. big old holy looking weapon thing. <laughs> holy looking. Holy looking. <laughs> yeah, I mean they, they feel like a very you know like. The glaive feels very, what do you call it, like crusader type oh. weapon. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's going to hit that. That's um, only a 10. Um, it does not, I'm afraid. You do have two inspiration crystals. I do have two inspiration crystals. Um, I am going to save those because I'm worried about how many more of these guys <laughs> there are. <laughs> okay. Fair. A little bit, little bit worried about that. So, yep, um, just a uh, swing and it clangs off, I assume. And, and, uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll just, okay, yep, so it just rings off the stone. Are. Yeah, it echoes through the stone chamber here. Okay, mm -hmm. Corbin. First, roll me that ferocity, um, which is, I know, reminds myself, a d4 plus one. Yep, plus one. Oh no, come back! <laughs> <laughs> You have to be able to I read it. Too ferocious. Too ferocious. <laughs> yeah, it makes an instant uh, frenzy to Ah, I rolled a four. Nice. Okay, so that pops you up to seven ferocity points. Which, if I skip right, over and... here to our giant spider companion rules, what toys does that give you? Come on, PDF. I think it gives me. PDFs are so heavy, aren't they? They're like, oof. On, they are. On, on, Every on. time I try to scroll down long come enough on, to on, scroll on, down to the, the page, it just goes blank. Yeah, right. I have to like, I had to like, actually down for like, you know, down. Especially yeah, my computer is like doing everything. Um, okay, so <laughs> yeah, you can do your signature attack, which is just without using any of the ferocity, and save it up for a rampage next time potentially, or you can do um, your um, destabilizing attack. Or a web attack as well, with that, it takes five points. Um, Which you can do now, or like later. I mean, when the, the both of them aren't particularly useful unless it decides to break out of the net next time. Because it still has, yeah. it has disadvantage so already. <laughs> can, I, can I save Webster's uh, turn for after my attack, so in case I don't get everything, that's when I would have him do the yep. web. I think I mean I think it actually does go after you anyway, doesn't it? I believe so. 
because yeah. we don't share a turn. It either goes directly before or directly after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although, didn't we say... Um, Corbin! Didn't we say we, we would, like, blend your turns together so that you can do the combination moves and actions and things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes it more fun. <laughs> Which is our goal. There we go. <laughs> So for Corbin, we're definitely going to do Fury of Blows. So nice. let me roll this first. Well, roll, roll the attack first. And yeah. arm strike. Yep. Chasha. Remember, you have your arm blade as well. Don't do me dirty, guys. <laughs> that sounds like an R20. Should I have a what? You have your arm blade too, right? I do have my arm blade. And I have Shh. dual wielding. I feel like I do not Shh. use it. Shh. Right? You have your sickle. Oh, the sickle isn't finesse. Uh, you have your no, whip. You can, you, can, you can combo your whip and arm blade. <laughs> don't don't tempt me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think. I mean, the problem me. the problem is though because you're always using your bonus action with your key points, right? So you know, flurry of blows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you never get to use your offhand attack. I don't think a key point is what I can use to do something. I don't think I'm using my key point for every um for all of my bonus actions. No, no, but uh, I have sorry. a bonus action mm -hmm. and I have key points. But the, I mean, yeah, you you have to use your bonus action to do it. It costs a key point. <laughs> they both happen. Ah, that was always the confusing part. I just. Mm -hmm. It's just basically the, you know the key points is just to say you know how many times you can do something a day. You know. No, not that part. Did you hear what I said about I don't I. Oh, Corbin mm -hmm. can dual wield, and I don't think I do it right. Okay. Uh, are you are talking about the um, oh. um, two two weapon fighting? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that's um, that's that's the same as Alora used with her with her moonblade. So it's yeah, it uses, uses the bonus action, and um, and then you don't add your stat bonus to it to the damage. Okay. I believe. Okay. Well, I would like to use one of my inspirations. Mm -hmm. Because that first roll was not it. <laughs> um, <laughs> doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't I'm, count. <laughs> does not count. And uh, so you can get rid of one of my little diamond. Off it pops. My, yeah. uh, my markers. Just that gone. second one was a 19, though. So oh, that'll do it. Okay, so sorry. Did you go with the slow, this uh, little can't talk arm blade? That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, no, I went with an unarmed strike. So I just went with a regular unarmed strike with the two damage so I could start fear. Flurry of blows. No, remember, um, flurry of blows is on any attack, so you can use your arm blade and then do the flurry of blows. Well, if that's the case, it then hurts if more. I use the arm, <laughs> yeah. If I, that's the case, then it was a plus five and not a plus four. four which yep. Made it a uh, dirty twenty. No, but I'm going to roll for damage. Now. Yep, d six plus two. Yep. Three damage on that first one. Three. And now okay. the... another flurry. First one is a 14 to hit. I don't think that does it. I'm um, afraid. I mean, you still have one more crystal? I'm not going to use that now. Okay. <laughs> and. So, one more. You snarf biscuit. I rolled a <laughs> friggin' nine. Oh, bad luck. Nope. Hello, dice. Hello, live dice. I don't care if you fall off my desk. <laughs> Never using the digital dice again. Dingy Beyond is in the doghouse. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, so, yes, you uh, slightly slightly bruise your knuckles as you punch into the stone. <laughs> right. Now, back. destabilizing attack. I think definitely going to do destabilizing attack. You did things pleasure. like this in your monastery days. You know, you know, you know like the punching the. <laughs> I wasn't punching about this. The same like spot then... in the wall over and over. And doing like a montage over the years and it gets deeper and deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Snarf biscuits. Indeed, Daisy. Look, I'm trying to not curse as much. It's not going to last long with these rolls, okay? <laughs> Um, so yeah, how's, how's Webster doing? Webster is going to roll his destabilizing attack. I it's a DC just... 10 plus your plus your dexterity. Oh no, plus your proficiency bonus, which is plus three, right? Yeah. So yeah, DC 13 dex yes. saving throw for the elemental. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it at disadvantage because they're wrapped up in that net? So gone. 
Oh, that's a good, good question. question. Is. Um, I think my attack probably should have been with advantage as well. <laughs> I did the did this whole net thing. Um, let's see, let's see. You gotta use the net. You you gave gotta it to. Gotta use the net. Um, it makes it restrained. So restrained. So okay. according to what's in the restrained condition. That's right. I got it. Oh, thank you. Doop. Um, speed is zero, uh, attacks have advantage, its attack rolls have disadvantage, and its dexterity saving throws have disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hey, indeed. see, there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff. Um, I did that for a reason. <laughs> okay, so. I rolled the attack again, it wouldn't have hit. So Dex fine. saving throw with disadvantage, which means I don't have to use my disadvantage crystal. <laughs> so I can save that for when it's trying to punch you in the face. Yeah. And punches are big. Eleven. So that is a fail. Ah. So Webster scuttles around and <laughs> webs up the thing, which takes you back to two. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Um. Let's see here. They are restrained by the webbing. Um. They have to make a strength check to burst the webbing mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make it there they have to they have to do two like they have to con succeed on two of them to break the we webbing and the net <laughs> I was oh, yeah, just like, about to ask yeah, if yeah, it's on top of the net. I was just about to ask if it's act <laughs> it is it, the, the the restraint does not you don't get double advantage and it doesn't get double disadvantage yeah, no, no, not that part <laughs> <laughs> I don't even but, know what that would be <laughs> I know right just three, three dice in the lowest <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I think mm -hmm. they did it in Ack Inc. once on stage. Like they had it oh, they ro rolling. I oh, know it was at um, it was at D&D Live. I think it was their Descent into Avernus release event. <laughs> someone someone got triple triple advantage or something. <laughs> um, inspiration coming back from our friend Sense to you, Corbin. Hmm? Uh, a little shiny inspiration crystal winging its way in your direction from our friend Sense. One of our uh, Candle Thank Keep Mysteries you. players. To, re to repeat, so that, so that I can I can keep stacked up. Thank you so much. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thank you. So that brings us to said <laughs> very netted and webbed <laughs> Earth Elemental. <laughs> as it just goes, <laughs> and um, it is just going to try and punch um, without uh, trying to break free because it's just angry and feels like it might be on the brink of death. <laughs> or destruction. Oh no, it's having a temper tantrum! <laughs> um, one, two, three... Actually, it can't reach Zakan. Okay. Oh, it's can. Hey! Okay, so one, two, oh, three, four. Reach. It has. It is going for Corbin! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Here it I comes. I think you got that disadvantage! With the disadvantage. <laughs> Natural one for a total of nine. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. I'm so sorry. Ouch. If you've got a folks, you just get stuck worse. Yeah. <laughs> and there's webbing like all up in the I love that they cracks, spin so. now. The fact that they spin now spins <laughs> right? me every no, time. They, they look like they're having so much fun. They're like, wee. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, it's clearly very angry about being webbed and netted because it went for Corbin with the first one, which is, you know, it was Webster, but it was basically Corbin's fault. Um, and <laughs> and then the second attack is going Just for user card. <laughs> so it kind of stretches against that webbing and tries to punch you all the way over there. Slam! 14? Uh, 14 will not. Ah, okay, so yeah, it, it like stretches against the webbing and like the el elasticity of the webbing just snaps it back and it almost punches itself in the face, but it does not. As it kind of like holds up the, the glaive to block it. <laughs> yeah. It almost it hurt goes, itself whoop. in confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us back to the finisher. Perhaps put, put it out of its yeah. misery. Living up to her name. She's getting Please. embarrassing now. Her nickname. <laughs> <It's been laughs> this once noble creature. <laughs> it looks very, looks very deje dejected. It's just like. Why'd you punch? So far. We'll let uh, Dawn Bringer do their job and <laughs> relieve them <laughs> of this darkness. Let's go. <laughs> You're so. You're so excited about it. I guess I'll free you from this there mortal There you go. Coil. Just slowly pushing <laughs> in. <laughs> hey, 
and she misses. Oh no! No! You have two shinies. You have two shinies too. Use the shinies. Use the shinies. <laughs> I want to use it for an elemental when it's less legs. Oh, I'd rather do it when it's a little more risky. A little riskier. Sure, um, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna use I've, my. I've been, I've been very indulgent and let let everyone give you two already. I'm not letting anyone giving you three. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come up with a risky idea soon. Uh, <laughs> so I have a scimitar on my offhand. Ooh, that's a uh, twenty-three. Nice. Okay. The damage is six. Six damage. Okay, that's just the straight roll, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, as you yes, you just like whisk the moonblade through. Uh, sorry, the uh, the sun sword through the air and just clangs off. But then you bring the moonblade over and it goes into one of those fissures that was in its surface before, and you slam in there and it widens it. And it starts to crack, and then stops. And the Earth Elemental turns, but you promised. <laughs> and it does not die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, can <laughs> Unexpectedly, we return to you. <laughs> yeah. So, I think. Um... Oh, no, uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. And as Sorry. it says, but you promised. And Delora is like, that's why it's called sneak attack damage. Yes! Oh, don't expect it. Let's see. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> you have disadvantage, that's right, and I have comrades very close by. That's 12. Yeah, you have you have so much sneak attack for various reasons. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and he's like, but you promised! And you're like, yes, like, yes I did. Twist. <laughs> and then just shatters. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just shatters, and the and the rocks fall onto the ground around and disintegrate into dust around you. And as it crumbles to the ground, and the echoing clashes and cries go silent, there is a rumbling cracking sound. I didn't and... suppose we were lucky enough to just have one. <laughs> and up from the floor where the remains of the earth elemental almost kind of dissolved into the floor and merged once more with the rock. Up from the floor emerges a Galabdur. Now, you've seen these before. They were, they were um, guarding the secret entrance to the mining complex when you first arrived here in Blingdenstone. And there you go, dude. You can rest now. <laughs> um, and um, the small Galabdur appears in its place. There he is. Hello. Thankfully, they're a lot weaker, right? Um, they're a lot smaller. <laughs> um, they're made of and, glass. And no, also made of rock. <laughs> and so it emerges up out of the stone um, below, and it forms out of the rock of the temple itself, turns outward in a kind of guarding pose, and clunk, down on the ground. Like it sits? Mm -hmm. Well, I think Ross still like in fighting stance. He's like, mode, and then it just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vancouver Bennett. Ooh, he's telling me the spoopy music is not accurate. <laughs> um, are you. Are you guarding the. the and they're like pointing to the obelisk behind. It has, it has, it's like facing outward from the obelisk and in a kind of combat ready pose. Like, look, it looks like it's supposed to be guarding. I think mm -hmm. it may be here to help us. Does, does that count as consecration? Or does that just count as the, like, are there, is there an on and a creation that'll be here soon? <laughs> Maybe if we show them the, the crystals we're given? They'll 
see us as friends instead of foes? Well, no, the crystal we already we put in the, oh, in the space, in. and then mm -hmm. yeah, that's what that's what started this. Oh, okay. Hmm. Just then, Elora, as you're stood over the way there, the large section of wall behind you animates, and another <laughs> earth no. elemental reaches out of the stone. And I would like you to reroll your initiative, ready. please. Okay. Um, and you can just type it in where it is on there. <laughs> Um, and Laura, can you please make me um, an athletic? Sorry, a yeah, an athletics or um, acrobatics check. Your choice. Okay. Rawr. Hello. I rolled a thirteen. A thirteen. Thank you. Boom and boom. Natural one. They, this creature just lunges from the wall and these huge stone arms just wrap around you. Did you go with athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Okay. And you just see out of the peripheral vision, like um, with your dark vision, these huge stone arms wrapping around you, ready to crush the life from you. And you just drop like vertically down below and the arms crash together and you skip forward away from its reach and it does not grapple you. Okay, so there he is. Okay, and uh, is everyone typed in their new initiative? Mm -hmm. You're good? Okay. Right, this time Zakan is first. So, yeah. what do you do, Zakan? Um, sort of merged out somewhere near Alora. It's right behind, yes. Yeah, it's where, where it is on the map, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I think what we'll go ahead and start off with here is just a, a good old glaive attack from from a bit of a distance. Okay, so you're running over that direction? Yeah, just so I can get that sweet bonus attack on the first one. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Will a 13 do it? I'm afraid not. Boo. Um, I think I can just take an additional attack. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just try and swing it again. Clangs off the, the armor and sort of whirls it around to and do another sweeping mm. What's slash. That? What's that with? Mm -hmm. With what? The glaive. Uh, you only have one attack. Oh, uh, this is Dread Ambusher, uh, the feat, which okay. I have, which I'm, on the first turn of each combat, uh, you can take one additional attack action if you take the attack action. Nice. Yeah. But I only get it the one time. Uh, that's awesome. Man, my rolls have been absolutely garbage. It's not going to do it. That's like um, eight. Yeah. <laughs> and your speed increases by 10 feet, too. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So the fun little feet. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, did, what, that was a, a miss? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Like a, but like eight. Yeah, I mean, you have your crystals. You got two. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and. and Use one. Yep, you try one. Okay. Yeah. You get that extra D8 if you hit. Yeah, exactly. And I want to be able to mark it. There we go. That'll do it. 19. Nice. There we go. So, yeah, the normal, that normal damage plus it. the D8. So, it smashes. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. At the last minute, your glaive almost seems to twist in the air, glancing off a nice shiny diamond in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's going pretty good. Um, let's see. That's nine plus the additional D8. Uh, one <laughs> for a total of 10. <laughs> okay. um, and I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll mark the favored foe as well. So let me pour a D4 on that. Oh, good look. Uh, 12 total nice. damage. Yeah. So two extra. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, the first attack is you dash in and clang your glaive off, missing um, or clanging off its hard rocky surface the first time, but the second one bites in um, a ways and causes that damage there. Thank you. Any, uh, any brace more for the punch movements or bonus action? Not nothing I can do. So just thematically, they you know got the glaive up and hoping not to get the crap punched out of them. Okay. Okay, uh, Corbin. Hmm. So the uh, 
the supposed fist that is that is coming towards my friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I would like to use a whip. I think I am going to use my whip. Nice. Go for it. Um, yeah, I almost clicked the button. Not today. <laughs> my whip is a plus two. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so you're just keeping distance, the 10 feet distance? Um, yeah, and I have a reach of 10 feet. Yeah. So it's right. within reach. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay, um, but yes, the the satisfying crack sound echoes around the um, the <coughs> temple's chamber, but it does not hit, I'm afraid. Well, it does not damage, I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't do damage, but does it make? You said it just goes around him. It doesn't make any contact to him at all. Um, you hit him, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know. I was trying to wrap around his. I was trying to wrap around the fist and like stop it. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I, th- I mean, you'd have to beat their AC, I think, so for that to work. Okay. Yeah. Um. And I. Uh, well. Everybody's having the do I want to use my advantage face for this type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool uh, thing but to no, use I won't, so I'm just going to use... Uh, because I want to stop it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll use it. Okay. Yes! That's a 17, so that's 19. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, um, roll the damage as well as it, as it hits. One d four plus two. Two plus two, four. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to bite into the you know the sturdy stone of the creature as much as you would hope, and but it does. Yeah, it was less about off. doing damage. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, wraps wraps around its arm. Okay, thank you. And then, um, anything else on your turn? That was um, your attack. Believe- that was the attack, and I would like to um, bonus actions. I only have. How are you doing for key points? I have all three. Hmm? For, this, for the new encounter. No, no, it's not per encounter. It's per short rest or long rest. It will be. And we did we not take a, um, the last rest? Because last time we took a rest, I haven't used key points since then. My stuff is clear. You did. You did a flurry of blows just now, just before. Hey, to you, Matt. Hey, good to see you. It was nice to see you stream yesterday. Okay, so then I have two. Okay, cool, cool. Mm, yeah, since that did hit, could I? So can I spend a key point so I can just make this a flurry of blows too? Indeed. Yep. So you dance into into yeah. um, next to it, and the you know the whip is still wrapped around it, so that's fine. Okay. Perfect. Attack is 16 plus 4, which is a dirty 20. Nice. And second roll is a 14 plus 4, which is 18. Nice. So, yeah, that's both it. So, hit all the damage. Well, no, I think it just does base damage, so that's 4 damage again. Um, it just does the 2. Oh, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's no, no bonus just to that. Just the 2 bludgeoning. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. 4 bludgeoning. Thank you. And not quite at the level where your attacks are magic, are they? That you happens. Know, that, that happens. That I, happens I, can, I could, I could spend a key point to make them key in to make the attacks I just did a key infused attack, but that would be all my key points for the same. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. Is it worth it? Smack. Mm, for an extra two, probably not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's really only like max two damage extra. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You, you so you lash out the whip, cracks through the air, wraps around its huge rocky arm, and then you kind of pull yourself along the length of the whip and then smack, smack the punches into the side. Okay. Elora Lustrous. They're just gonna keep popping up, no matter how many times we. Probably. Up. What are we supposed to do? Is this worth it even? It, it, once the land is consecrated, it's supposed to stop this from happening. So until it's done, this keeps happening. I think. Well, what do we have to do to consecrate it? 
Can you protect against it's... good and evil the whole thing? Yeah, the, the way it was described to you by the uh, Sphere of Neblin um, priest was that the, it's the crystal is like attuning to the space and consecrating the space as yeah, and you're, you're def protected until defending it as that's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. We just well, need to hold our ground. Let's get so now. We have help. What does the little mini do? Like, like when it when is that? Still just sitting. <laughs> it's it is back back to the monolith facing the wall. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's all right. Line well, the defense. Okay. Let's hurry this up, and then she runs in. And she <laughs> her glowing sword. <laughs> Very tired of all these elementals. Um, eighteen. Eighteen. Um, that hits. And. Damage. Oh, seven. And okay. I get the attack because. Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. And that's 12, so a total of 19 damage. Nice. Okay. Um, Corbin, we, we didn't do uh, Webster. We did not do Webster. Are you going with um, Webster or, or uh, Shakushio? Switch it up. I, yeah, this is a new encounter, so technically I can switch. Yep. Ah! I've yet to use Sharkushio. I you would reach, like to. You reach out your Pokeball and Webster goes I know. inside. I know. It's really how I feel. <laughs> um, okay, Webster kind of uh, scuttles over to the side here. And uh, and you, rest, you hear a growl from the opposite side of the of the cat chamber. <laughs> Yatto. Yatto no And the uh, red dragon wormling swoops um, across <laughs> from next to you, uh, Zakan. And um, roll me that ferocity. Oh, yeah. A baby's first ferocity. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. Three. Okay. So I ha let's have a look at the dragon wormling one. I haven't looked at this one properly yet. No, we have. New toys, new toys. Um, <laughs> um, by the way, our, our Ram of the Frost Maiden, the Ram of the Frost Maiden crew got a, an awakened shrub, so we're gonna like flavor that to be the spoiling. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, one. <laughs> it's like more companions. <laughs> Everybody need a little companion. Okay, uh, <laughs> they do um, for two ferocity. They can do spit breath. The wormling makes a signature attack as a ranged weapon attack with a normal range of thirty feet and a long range of sixty feet. On a hit, the attack deals an extra. Uh, it says players uh, yeah, PB damage or proficiency bonus, bonus. <laughs> damage, which is the plus three for me, and all the damage dealt by the attack is. Or of the type associated with the Wormling's lineage, which in this case is fire, fire. indeed. Okay, so um, that means yeah, it doesn't have to actually close up. It can do the spit stack from far away. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. So, so it just like takes to the air and it's like wings flapping and just goes. So uh, roll to hit, um, which is going to be um, it's a d twenty plus six. <laughs> Plus six. I rolled a sixteen. Nice. Okay. Yes. So the clue, the uh, whole cave is illuminated as this gout of flame just goes across. He's been waiting. Crashes He's been waiting. Into <laughs> into the thing. Um, Pat for Dragon. Thank you for that subscription, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> in the heat of the moment, <laughs> literally. <laughs> the heat of the moment. Hey. <laughs> um, and um, you can roll the damage with the extra damage as well. So that is how much damage? Uh, D6 plus 6 damage. Fire! Can I just say, on a, on a side note... Plus 6, which is 11. 11. I went yeah. in to pick up my suit this morning from dry cleaners because I've got my son's graduation tomorrow. And the dry cleaners Rick rolled me. Like, I opened the door and it was like, just Rick Astley was blaring inside. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, rude! <laughs> Was it like a okay. Muzak version, or was it a full version? That no, was the it was the full version. <laughs> <laughs> they had it queued. A second you opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> so the Japanese grandfather's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that did not happen. It's a banger of the song. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Takes me back to me youth. <laughs> you. And Sam, don't you dare go, Rick who? Yeah, the Rick rolling is keeping him alive, <laughs> keeping him <laughs> in the Rick, early 2000s. Please don't hurt, right? Please don't hurt everyone in this stream. Will everyone will just be like? I think, <laughs> I think he's probably like 
<laughs> hey Turbo, welcome back. Um, I think he's probably like Jack's like like hardwired straight into the internet, and everyone someone memes it, it like gives him a little bit more vitality. He's like yes, yes, Rick rolled them all. Oh, natural one Turbo, never mind. I mean, you did win the giveaway the other day, so yeah, you had your nat twenty then. <laughs> Spinnies. Okay. Um, so yes, Sharkushio, your red dragon friend, does a bang up job on their first what? time out. Um, and the damage does not seem to uh, be lessened in any way um, as... Let's have a quick look around here. Yes. Um, and the fire just, like, crashes into the side and kind of melts away a bit of the uh, of the stone elemental. <laughs> it's like little globlets of glowing rock pool onto the floor. Um, oh, who's being nice? Cos, thank you so much. Oh, for Scrappy as well. Nice. Thank you so much, Cos. Corbin looks a little too proud of Sharkushio <laughs> after <laughs> after he has like the successful attack. It really is. He's just like, oh, big so good, but you just thought he just Yo. big anime saved eyes. someone. <laughs> you're, you're sure you can control him? <laughs> He's only doing what I told him. That's right. You get the bad guy. He just he just like he's just like. Moe, moe, moe. Which is, stops not, moving, which is baby. not moe. I have, it's <laughs> looking very ferocious. <laughs> very different. <Yes. laughs> he's, he's, he's saying burn, burn, burn in Draconic, which for those of you who have not seen before is Japanese in our games. Okay, um, that is everything for you there. Um, uh, Laura, sorry, were, were you still fussing about? <laughs> My bonus action. Sorry, to interrupt midway there. Now let's see if it even hits. Uh, so it's on my moon blade. And it's an 11, so it doesn't. It does not. Yes, you kind of like shielding your eyes as the uh, the red hot rock of this blast of fire. Just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, he's kind of, uh, That's how you Corbin the is just flaming Elmo. Just... <laughs> 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 Laura kicks up uh... steps to the side over here a little bit. <laughs> I know. He's like, please whoa, moving whoa. token. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, a bad experience with this. <laughs> speaking of um, Earth Elementals, he is about to make two attacks, both of which will be at disadvantage. One, because I have a nasty little disadvantage crystal. Someone over there in chat, you know who you are. And the <laughs> second will also be at disadvantage because it has a rather annoying whip wrapped around it. As it breaks free, it will it will break free this time because you know this this is not something hey. that whips can generally do. But um, it's a, um, so it's only it only lasts for one round. It's not it's not like the net, unfortunately. But um, it does give it disadvantage on this attack. Um, so let's see who it's going for. Corbin or Elora? Okay, Elora on the first one. <laughs> Punching Elora is such a fun thing to do. Punch, punch, punch the queen, punch the queen, punch the queen. Can't hear you. <laughs> that is a natural one. <laughs> hey. Apparently the, the dice roller can hear me. <laughs> um, okay. So yes, um, it tries to... Uh, I'm going to say this is the one that Corbin helps with. <laughs> so it like swings around, but then Corbin just like heaves back, like falls backward basically. Um, just like drops the center of gravity, you're holding onto the whip, and it just like pulls the fist back. <laughs> and you're, like, it just comes out of their hand. Like, I'll give it up for, like, the, like, the rest of the fight to, like, get it back. It's just this whip hanging yeah. off his wrist. It's like... <laughs> but that uh... clearly pissed it off, because the second slam attack is going for you, Corbin. <laughs> but, <laughs> but with the disadvantaged crystal from okay. someone in chat... It's Rah. fine. Ten. Just forgive, but never forget. It does not... Always. <laughs> yes, okay, these two <laughs> slam attacks do not find purchase... And it angrily roars. Thank you, Sirenscape, and bringing us back to the top of the <laughs> round. And Zacharnicus. E. Um, it's in a silly, goofy mood. Causing <laughs> <laughs> shenanigans. shenanigans. Speaking of the the net, yon net, um, it's still just wrapped around the other golem, eh? It is. And also, like, coated in spider gunk. It is. So we'll take an action to retrieve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, and then, other quick question: um, How long has it been between these combats? Like, was it pretty quick that this other one appeared? Um, it was, yeah, it was like it was min minutes. Almost instantaneous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, is it okay to say that um, protection from evil and good is still up? It lasts for ten minutes. Uh, it's yeah. I'll, I'll give it like this this round certainly. 
Okay. Actually, well, I mean, like around like six seconds, isn't it? It's, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's like you had like there's like a minute left, and it's this round. It's not going to go ten rounds. Like, like this combat. Yeah. 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 yeah basically. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, good. Good. So I think what we will do is um, Zakan is going to uh, get sort of you know on the other side of, of the golem and. Um, mm -hmm. They twirl the the glaive and then they plant it in the ground and we're going to cast Word of Radiance. Oh, good. Um, each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. Okay. I think it's probably so you, these guys' strong suit, but you <laughs> so you choose um, Shakushio, Corbin, and Delora. Yep. Yeah. No. Gonna burn them down. <laughs> no. This is not how I would like for you to introduce. Zakan is the BBG. Please take me away, thank you. Come on, the, the spook, spooky glowing mask didn't give them away. <laughs> um, okay. No. Right. <laughs> um, Constitution saving throw? Yeah. Um, okay, what's the DC on that? 14. Oh, so if only that, that disadvantage crystal was still there, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not 20. Ooh. No. Yeah, it's plus five. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what happens? Cool, what? Cool. Does something happen? Uh, I, I think nothing happens. Um, it says must succeed or take damage, but it doesn't say like on a. Uh, I'm afraid not. Yeah, yeah, success, yeah it's very, success. very specific if, if something happens. Yeah, yeah. So I think they just they try to see how it affects this elemental, but um, they're like, okay, that's <laughs> this is not particularly doing it. So pick the glaive back up, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll that'll be the turn. Oh right, thank you. Uh, which brings us to Corbin. In me, in my turn. Yeah. Okay. I so, feel bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Chakushio in the turn order so I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> and roll that D4. Yes. No, Chakushio. Two, which puts us at four. And Deet. How much um, was it before? How much was the? We were, uh, we, uh, it went uh, down it was, to two. After it went, it went down to one. There's two for us to do this for the split breath, and you have three. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Um, well, then so the... three. <laughs> stay, stay, add three still. I went, I went back to three. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not like I'm not. It worked. You said it melted stuff. I'm definitely gonna <laughs> spit again. Try to do that again. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> Plus six to attack and damage. Cuphead, cuphead style. <laughs> hey. Don't tell the me. Biggest, I'll, I'll, I'll put the on that music. Loogie. The, <laughs> the biggest loogie. The biggest loogie. You said plus, it's 13 plus 6. Yeah, so everyone, this is, this, is, this is Bun's doing. You really put it up? <laughs> I will sing every song. <laughs> They're all instrumental versions, so go for it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. If, you, if, you, if you're promising, if you're promising, then I'm going to go with one very specific one instead, then, which I have in a separate <laughs> element Sir, on Sirenscape. You make me sing. You make me sing. Finish the encounter. I'm Mr. King Dice. I'm the game. Mr. King Dice. I'm the game. Oh, the delay. The I'm delay. The <laughs> I'm the devil's right hand man. Okay, okay, okay. Love the song. <laughs> it's like a, like a duet. Like a call and answer. Yeah, right. Well, it was nice. Okay, <laughs> sorry. What was the roll to hit? <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're fighting. We'll fight you. 13 plus 6. 13 19. plus 6 is a 19 and a hit. So, uh, d6 plus 6 damage. Burn! Yeah. Fire! Ah, I rolled a 6. So, Actually, is I that double give... damage? <laughs> we're not playing no. Deadlands. It's not, it doesn't explode, but it is 12. <laughs> you can't crit on damage. <laughs> Um, okay. But, but Sirenscape does have a fire spell thing, so I will play that for Shakushio. Here we go. Yay! Flames. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> that tracks. All right. Okay, so yeah, Shakushio, once again, <clears throat> leathery wings be um, beating against the air, rising up, and the cave is once more illuminated as the fire hurtles through the air, crashing against the creature, and again, melting away a significant portion of its form as it bellows in frustration. Okay, and 
Is Ooh, it revealing quite. the crystal at all? Boom! The and other, danger of uh, Earth elementals had crystals in them. Is the melting revealing the crystal? Um, it is not quite so significant. You think the control, the, not as, yeah, not the as control much? gem would be inside, yeah. But yes, bear that in mind. You, do, you are aware that these things do have control gems. Okay, um, so, and for your good self, Corbin? Oh. I know way down, now my own attack. <laughs> I am still close up from when I did my Fury of Blows before, right? No, it's moved since then. Yes. Oh, no, no, right. it, yeah, you're, you're right next to it. Sorry, um, thank you. It basically hasn't moved because it just emerged from the wall from and got attacked. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I would like, let's see if this works. I know it doesn't actually make things cold on purpose, but does Chill Touch have any type of temperature change? Like, could I make it brittle um, because it's been superheated twice <laughs> and then make it cold suddenly? Now, come on, you, you, surely, surely you've heard this one. Chill Touch is famous because it does not do cold damage and it's I not know. a touch spell. <laughs> I'm still going to do it, though, because necrotic damage. <laughs> Indeed. Because necrotic damage. And it's a cantrip. Yeah, so roll to hit. Plus four. Four. Uh, that is a six plus four. It's only a ten. Only a ten. And it's no shinies ten. at the moment, I'm afraid. Let loose the no. dogs of war. Well, we'll let loose the ghostly, ethereal hands of war anyway. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, it's very so cool looking. It does look very cool, yes. It's very cool. It's but not Ch Chakushio, Chakushio just kind of throws some shade. It's like, my fire is better. <laughs> the telepathic link there. <laughs> I got time for your sass. Just burn the mom rock. Mom missed. Mom missed. <laughs> or this dad. is going to turn into a I'm competition sure. between me and Looks my son. Looks under the hood. <laughs> Significant parent missed. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Anything else? Definitely. Any bonus action? Nope. Okay, look. Um, Elora, Lustrous. Uh, yes. Can we just say, I, I, I feel like, you know, every now and then, um, DMs out there, fellow DMs, you really should check in with your players. Alora, you're, of the three of you, you're last in the initiative count. You doing okay, hun? Uh, <laughs> the last nine initiative, I guess, Alora. <laughs> what happened? Last nine. What happened? Yikes. I guess we could say, what we could say, you? Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the, um, I had to roll a 19 to get this high. This is where Laura usually is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think um, you, mean, you, you were dodging that grapple attempt at the start, so it kind of like threw you off balance a little bit. And <laughs> okay, so now that you have your balance back, what are you doing? Yeah, Laura's just hacking away at this rock, trying to make a beautiful sculpture with the blood. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> it's a 25. 25 will hit, definitely. Eight. And it is sneak attack in there and all. Aim damage, so radiant damage, and then sneak attack is. Six. I hope, hope there's some people that have joined after we started the cuphead music. They were like, "What is happening?" <laughs> <laughs> so what was the total score? Say. Fifteen. Fifteen. Damn, which knocks it into bloodied territory, dusty territory, I guess. Hey. It is at half or less. And my bonus action Ellie. again, bringing out my moon blade, power of the moon and the sun. Um, <laughs> that's going to be a 16. Um, that is just a miss. I'm afraid. Okay. So yes, the moon blade swings <laughs> up in a vicious uppercut, but just clangs off the rocky surface of the creature as it turns and just bellows at you. <laughs> And it's its turn. So it is an equal opportunity attacker, so it will go for each of you once. Alora. Oh. <laughs> Alora, as you as you um, ring your sword off its stony um, exterior, it grabs the blade and tries to just, just bring you towards it and headbutt you with its massive stony um, um, forehead. Ra! 16? That just hits. Yay! Um, like no, don't, don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> I can't dodge. <laughs> I want to have, you know, jump oh, to the side. Oh, it's a half damage. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, that is eighteen bludgeoning, half to nine. Oh, but I have eighteen, so minus Ooh. nine. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, no problem, Rubble Jacks. Have a good one. Cheers for that. Mm -hmm. All right, the second fist, as it smugly grins at you, Laura's like, mm, that's what you get, and then turns to Corbin, slam! Um, and... <laughs> 24. Uh. <laughs> Not natural 20, still. So you're okay. Um, but for 12 bludgeoning damage... No, okay, you... no, I'm good. I got that. I got you're that. Good. Okay, okay. Urban Zoom, thank you for the follow. Urban Zombie, sorry. Urban Zombie. I can read. We'll give you that Discord uh, invite later on. Welcome on in. <laughs> Doing the Charleston over there, Papa, are you? <laughs> the oh, what is up with this? these attacks making everybody exactly half the hit points know, right? they had before? <laughs> I'm so okay. sick of it. It's very, it's very, very exact about it. Yeah, it's very particular. It um, is! <laughs> so can't. <laughs> Corbin on deck. Oh, I'm on mute. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hearing about the melted stone um, kind of gave me like a, a silly, fun idea, so let me know. But um, has enough of that exterior stone melted away to perhaps cite a uh, control crystal inside there? Yeah, you didn't hear me ask that? <laughs> it's cool, we tried that one already, oh, I'm you? afraid not. <laughs> oh, okay. Troll Lord Games, welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone. Troll Lord Games, the last publisher that the esteemed Gary Gygax used um, um, in, the, in their publishing things. Welcome in, everybody. A massive raid welcome, there. Welcome. Thank you so much. The music welcome was in, my great friends. for that introduction. And another... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zagan, excuse me. Um, That's fanfare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a, another huge thank you for the um, the giveaway that I won over on our good friend Lord Gusumba's channel there. And congratulations again on a I fantastic... Fantastic charity events the other week. Um, I hope everyone is doing. Oh, speak of the devil, <laughs> Lord Gusamba. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope everyone is doing very, very well. Um, thank you for joining us today. We are playing Out of the Abyss. They are trying to reconsecrate this temple in the outskirts of Blingdenstone and fight off these corrupted earth elementals. They are doing all sorts of shenanigans, and we have changed the music appropriately. <laughs> so, <laughs> so welcome, everybody. I hope you're doing very well. Yes, we do have a giveaway. Fantastic CZRPG encounter bundle. Good Goodness! Exclamation mark! Enter to jump in there. Hey, Vamp Crimson Rockstar. Hello, my friend. Okay. Hey, hey, doing urban zombie? Good luck with that. Thanks for that follow before. If you are not already, do consider giving us a follow. You can jump into our followers Discord and share all of your projects and hear what's going on with us as well. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. If you give us a follow, I'll send you the Discord invite after we go offline. Hey, Andy, how you doing? Okay. So, right. Thank you, everybody. Let us continue, Zakan. What are you doing? So, I'm afraid you cannot glimpse the control crystal uh, as of yet, but. Cannot glimpse it, is... it as of yet. Not yet, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, still like. Corbin gets, stuff Corbin gets inspiration <laughs> crystal. Side. Thank you, Vamp Wickman. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think what, what we're going to do is um, still incorporating like some of the stone coming off and stuff. Um, Zakan like sees an opportunity uh, for some finer work, and so they're going to withdraw um, a bit uh, so that they can use their longbow instead. Okay. Because um, they are not very strong, and the glaive is more for sweeping, sort of uh, fleshy cutting. Yes. <laughs> so um, swap to that. Get out of um, close melee range, Just about to which I assume would be an attack. Um, indeed. Um, That'll be a moment. disadvantage. What, what's uh, incurs the disadvantage there, sorry? Imposes? Uh, protection from evil and good. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, very nice. Okay, slam! Only a 10. So, yeah, that saved you, because oh, nope. the other roll was a 22. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Can't take any of these punches, this frail old body. So, yeah, just this huge rock fist just goes swoom, flying, you know, just like hurtling through the air towards you. And it just, um, Corbin and Delore, you just see it kind of um, almost reverberate in the air. It's just as a, what was this, like, kind of field of energy is surrounding Zakan. Okay. And as they're sort of backstepping, uh, you know, a little leap and they let loose an arrow. Go for it. Got a better plus on this. Oh, damn, that's a nat 20. Right, there we go. Hey. Okay. If you've got them, folks, let them fly. <laughs> These have a spinny version too, Buns. <laughs> 
so yeah, there's that womb of like this sort of divine energy protecting them, and um, they just let the arrow go, and it, it, you know, sinks right into one of those opened bits on its outside from nice. Charcutio. Okay. Roll some damage here. <laughs> Pop with a random natural one in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's trying to sneak away. That one there. got tired. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Just take a breather and spin again. Okay. <laughs> So what's um, the total on that? See. That's going to be... Uh, that's 18 on the arrow. Gotcha. And Ooh. then um, Favored Foe gives me a little extra... Um, one, two, that was with four. double the number of dice rolled, yeah? Yeah. So a total of... And uh, you double that, double the Favored Foe dice as well? I think so, right? Because it says yep. um, you increase dice. Yep. the damage that you do. Mm-hmm. So that's on top of that another four so 22 in total nice indeed very huge hit there okay so what does that look like explain yeah how, how does it describe how this attack like strikes home yeah so i think um you know they sort of just their their eyes glow a little bit um with a bit of divine inspiration and it channels out down their arms underneath the bandages into the arrow and so just glowing it goes like zip and makes this streak of light like across the thing nice. and um, just disappears like into the body like you can't even see where it hit but it hit <laughs> something that Fantastic. you know is essential yes. to it moving across through the space okay again lighting up the interior briefly before extinguishing itself as it buries deep into the creature fantastic okay um anything else on your turn uh that'll be it Okay. Bonus, uh, action save for healing. So. Corbin, engage monk. And right, roll, roll me some ferocity. Everyone, we are using the Matt Colville um, um, optional beast um, companion rules as they have a red dragon wormling in their corner. It's a very cool mechanic. Okay. I rolled a four. Um, nice. Um, it is not next to the elemental, so it's just a four, but that takes it up to five. Yep. It has a special um, attack at five, right? Yeah, it can do a yep, frightful it has... presence if you want. Right. Um, let me see what exactly it does. A creature can repeat this as saving throw. Each creature within the wormling's choice, uh, each creature of the wormling's choice that is within 10 feet of the wormling and aware of them must succeed a DC 10 plus proficiency bonus wisdom saving throw or become frightened of the wormling for one minute. Okay. That will give it. Um, that will give it disadvantage on its attacks. While while Chucky yeah, shows within be, sight, if you want to try that, which would be very very happy. Um, <laughs> or you could just go for more fire. Fire. <laughs> fire would do more damage, but if this gives it disadvantage on attacks coming back at I, us, I mean, then it would be very helpful right now. Yeah, this. I mean, this one. Um, this one doesn't do any damage, unfortunately. Just it just rah. yeah no yeah it's, it's not about the damage actually at this point it's about having Charcutio realize that that mm -hmm. fire isn't the only thing that it's going to be doing yeah right <laughs> he also has to help the party so we, we're going right? to start that right? off yeah. yeah you can be a, so, a, yes, a bit of an assist gonna... debuff yes, debuff friends feel feel <laughs> the we, niceness we appreciate... and the happiness of a team win indeed <laughs> and can we just appreciate the sidebar in the uh, Matt Colville document here dragon babies. <laughs> Dragon babies. Okay, go for it. Dragon babies. Um, so, oh, sorry, it's me, isn't it? Um, DC 13 wisdom saving throw. How wise are Earth yeah. elementals? <laughs> not very, but it's not a minus. Not it's very. Not, and it's not how afraid are they of dragons? I mean, it's been melted by it. You know what? I'm going to say, mm -hmm. for those two instances of being melted by this dragon, I'm going to roll with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Didn't matter. <laughs> they both failed. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 11 and a 12. It was DC 13. So yes, um, nice. Sharkushio just, just goes, just like, like a fully necked lizard just like goes, just like, just like expands itself and just like opens its mouth and there's more of that fire inside. It's like, I've got more of this. I got more of this. <laughs> like, you want some? Oh my gosh. He just, he's just, just clear how much he's enjoying some? it. You want some? <laughs> and Corbin. <laughs> Corbin and Delora, you get this bizarre um, witness um, to this uh, bizarre phenomenon of a earth elemental quaking in their boots. Earth quaking in their boots, if you will. <laughs> hey. um, and they are frightened of Charcutio. Okay. 
Oh, Troll Lord Games, thank you so much for those gifted subs, my friend. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to try out that system. We are going to be featuring some of the fantastic stuff from Troll Lord Games on our channel in the future. Um, as I said, jump into our Discord so you can get um, all the information about that when that's coming up soon. We just need to get past the changeover of school year here in Japan. <laughs> so much going on. It will happen, though. I cannot wait. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, so... Um, and um, yes, your, your, your own turn, Corbin. Yes. Yay! Um, I am going to use use that, that two hand weapon fighting that I have not been using with my <laughs> arm blade and my sickle. Um, nice. The first attack is going to oh. be with the arm blade, no, I and I know the second the attack doesn't sickle, get my. The sickle, I'm afraid, is not a uh, finesse weapon, so it's it a can't light be used. weapon. Yeah, but it's not finesse. It's it was finesse. a light weapon, it's not a word. finesse weapon. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, I hope I'm wrong. Yes, yeah, light. It's not finesse. Haha. -ha. You shut up, DM. <laughs> <laughs> no! Shut up. <laughs> no. no I'm, everyone, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy to be in my place. Our DM is very kind to us. <laughs> um, if you are new to the yeah, stream, we yeah. never tell him to shut up. <laughs> I don't. Never. <laughs> That's why I had to we tell myself. Him. That's why I had to tell myself. <laughs> um, yes, it is a light melee weapon. Fantastic. I thought it was finesse for some reason. So, yeah. Um, yes, you're... Um, your magical um, arm blade extends out of the tattoo and your sickle gleams in the light of Shakushio's fire as you stir, um, surge forward. Before. Yo, Corbin's really fucking cool sometimes. Um, let me get to this first one. <laughs> Rah. Plus five. Yes, indeed. Yes, 16. Um, 16 hits? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for no, it. No, 16 plus five. My base roll was 16. Oh, nice. Oh. Actually, that's good. It actually doesn't, doesn't hit. Yeah, that's no. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Okay. Um, thank you, Troll Games. Yes, thank you so much for the raid. Absolute pleasure to have you here. I hope you had a great session. Everyone, um, head on over and check out Troll Lord Games if you are not already. And welcome in, Raiders, once more. Um, troll. Two. Hang on. How many else? That's Three. Eight all damage else. with the first weapon. There we go. Eight damage with the first. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then Crunch. my sickle is just a plain 2d6, no bonuses. Um, the I'm using roll, it with my offhand. Roll to hit first, yeah. But I roll that regular is what I'm asking, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, roll uh, roll regular and then it's just a d4 damage. Okay, so plus four. Yeah, the offhand that attack is... doesn't affect the um, attack roll, it's just the damage. Excuse me. Oh, okay. That is a 15 plus nice. four, which. That hits. And then just a plus D4. four, plus four, D4. <laughs> two, it's only two. Two, okay, ding, um, which is down to one, because this is not magical. The arm blade is magical, but the sickle is not. Fair. Boom, okay, thank you, nice. So yeah, you just come kind of, kind of windmilling in, like you know, the, the arm blade extending in one hand and the, <laughs> Don't the sickle. Don't make Corbin windmill. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks fly as your as your weapons clash off the um, Earth Elemental's exterior, and um, that brings us to Elora Illustrious. Every little bit helps. Yes, indeed, Phantom. Yes, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Dawnbringer again. Oh, a twelve. <laughs> you have crystals. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes. Hair. Use them up. <laughs> Stop being heavy. So, first one was a, a 14, which was a no. It is a no. And then it was an 11. You tricked me, you tricked <laughs> Hey. <laughs> no promises, no promises. <laughs> Second chances, but no promises. Okay. Right. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Do you bring the Moonblade into into there as well? Go for the eyes, boo! There's no boo. Corbin, not yet. <laughs> no no miniature giant spice hamster. Yet. <laughs> so, offhand attack, Laura? That was my offhand. Oh, no, I didn't. You used your crystal to reroll, didn't you? Yes, I was, re I was re rolling on my offhand. Oh, well, so did you... Did you roll the first attack already? Yes. Yeah, I don't oh, remember you rolling the other. Yeah, I don't think I don't remember that either. I thought you you rolled your first attack, missed, you re-rolled it, missed again. And now you get your opponents, right? 
Yeah, there's third, three rolls in total. I did. I missed them all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. <laughs> Not to leaping on the opportunity. It's like, yes, that's right. How silly of me to forget. <laughs> <laughs> to forget. <laughs> to forget. Yes, indeed. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Great. I live. Rawr, the rock elemental, corrupted by the corrupting influence, as you would be, of Ogrimuk's bane, um, rounds on the two of you and raises up those fists. Um, unfettered by whips or disadvantaged crystals and the like and brings them <laughs> crashing down first on Elora slam 25 uh, uncanny dodge no again, yeah, I can use that again yeah yeah is it every, every how action. often can you use that I think any time. Any, time. Okay, just yeah, once yeah, it's a reaction, so once per turn. Yeah, it's yeah. background. It's gone gotten full action again. So yeah, absolutely. Um, da, 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 da. yep, just one reaction. Um, it will so that will have the damage. What's your HP at the moment? Nine. Nine. Okay, so I need eighteen or more. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve bludgeoning damage. I'm you are still like down to six. You <laughs> three Five. HP left. Oh. Just standing. <laughs> okay. Lilara's <laughs> looking bad, eh? Yes, looks looking very rough. Um, by the way, feel free to select your token and put the um, bloody door on last legs um, tokens. If you just click the color at the top, it'll do that. Um, and so your friends can see if you need healing or anything. Um, and the second one, I, I said I would go. I'm not gonna. So he's like, oh, I didn't kill her, and it's like turns back to Laura. No, the second one is going for Corbin. Slam. Only a 12. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you do, do you do like a, a, a cross your sickle and arm blade? Just like, crrr, catch it. Yes. <laughs> it's like, trying to slam down. Okay. The pin is accurate. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, yeah, those are the attacks. Brings us back to Zakan. Yeah. So, I think first thing we're going to do as a uh, an old bonus action mm -hmm. is um, seeing Alora take that that hit and like being pretty wobbly uh on her feet um they uh, reach out there their free hand that's not holding the bow and speak a couple words of celestial and cast healing word oh right my that's last it, spell it. slot okay so there was calls in chat for old school rock and roll i don't think it's gonna be rock and roll it's more metal <laughs> <laughs> but we do have we do have a vernus metal thanks to sirenscape metal is pretty good <laughs> Um, so let's see, that's uh, eight points of healing, which is something. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Um, going back to uh, Phantom's thing before, every little helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And one way or the other, oh man, getting serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, um, so anything else your turn? Bottom section, yep. okay. And then, um, is, is there anywhere to take like um, even just a bit of cover for um, Pepper in this thing with arrows? Um, behind the uh, obelisk. Yeah, can they, um, like, they'll move towards the obelisk. Okay. And then before so they just, get behind it, you also have to go over there. The Galab the kind of, like, looks up at you and, like, side eyes you and, like, shuffles over a bit. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna make it through this. But if he's you'd like, like to help. He's like, well, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> over here with my 85 hit, hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Fires, I, need uh, I need all of them. <laughs> I'm keeping these. Yeah, these are mine. <laughs> Firing a uh, longbow. Oh, that's not bad. That's going to be uh, a dirty twenty. Nice, that'll hit. Um, so this will like, give you this will give you um, half cover behind the pillar here. Cool, cool. Yeah, so they're going to fire and then go behind cover as they do. Well, that'll give you full cover then. <laughs> it's just a decent sized thing. Oh, cool. A case. tree, a tr I think a tree gives you like three quarters clover, cover, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, um, but, you know, this is a big monolith, so maybe, good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's going to be, let's see, oh, full eight plus two, and then the favored foe damage, only an extra one, uh, so 11 damage uh, piercing on the, but the arrow the, shot. The arrow is regular, isn't it? Just regular, yeah. Right, so what was the arrow damage? 
Let's see. Uh, well, the, the marked foe is also of the same damage type, so it's 11 in total. Yeah, but I think so the marked mark, foe doesn't count as like... Is uh, magical, isn't it? Yeah, it's a ranger thing, so I don't think it's magical. It's not magical se. effect? Okay. Um, it usually says, like, very clearly, it's like, it, you magically... <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, I mean, like, it's treated like uh, a spell, but I think you concentrate it on it, like, agnostically. <laughs> Atheistically. <laughs> Favorite foe? Yeah, yeah, I think so. At least I don't see anything that mentions, like, um, magic. Yeah, it's as if you were concentrating on a spell, so it's not... Yeah, it's not yeah. A, a magic. You call thing. on your mystical bond with nature. Okay, so it's 11 down to 5. Yep, yeah. Okay, thank you. Again, it's not that's... quite as devastating as the other one. But it does knock a decent chunk off it, which uh, lands on Elora's big toe. And she goes, hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so um, then they'll, they'll get fully <laughs> behind the thing Completely next to the Gallop door. Um, well, uh, sorry, first of all, it falls on Alora's toe and takes away three, exactly three HP. No. Oh, damn. She's damn. <laughs> uh, Thankfully, just... she got healed there. <sighs> oh, damn it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> um, okay. I don't focus on the good stuff. <laughs> um, Corbin. Charcutio's ferocity, please. They're languishing on zero ferocity. So so the Gal of Dura is just sitting there? <laughs> like, it's, it just doesn't care what's going on? Yep. <laughs> is it watching? <laughs> Nope, the space in the other he way. He may be languishing <laughs> on zero, but we can say he has four again. Huzzah! Okay, not quite enough for the frightful presence again, but it can do that fiery but, spit. But it can do that fiery spit thing again. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so yeah, roll, roll plus six to hit. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 math. It's d6 plus six, fiery doom. It's this plus six is the only reason I'm making these. <laughs> That's a three on the d6. Three, so nine total. Nice. Chakushio puts this earth elemental onto its last legs. Yes. Is it, am I doing it right? <laughs> oh. Parental figure, am I doing it right? Yes. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, but you never, ooh, but you never, they didn't do, they put it on his last legs, but it's not, it's not dead yet. Not yet, no, so that means it has 10 or less. Okay, good. No, good, I don't, I don't think I want him to be the one that does the finishing blow. No one, <laughs> I don't think I want him to experience hey, that comic. yet. So, so, so daddy ending this, it has to happen now. <laughs> I said, Sorry, Alora. I think I think I really gotta try to, to end this. But it's my job. I'm not trying to die. I'm only on eleven. By royal <laughs> decree. <laughs> Please have the floor. <laughs> you know, it's gonna. It's this. I'm gonna use the, the heaviest attack I have then, Ooh. which is a cantrip, primal <laughs> savagery. <laughs> wow. Um. So, do you just like make? No, I have, a um, I think I always say acid, but it's poison. I think in my brain I want it to be acid because that sounds right. cooler. <laughs> no, no it's, 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 it is acid. It is acid. Is it, not, is it acid or poison? Yeah. I always no, it's, get acid, it's, acid. it's acid. It's acid. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm as cool as I thought I was. Yeah, it's <laughs> already been like melted down. I like to think it's just little, corrosion at this point. The little logo is misleading because it's a, it's a drop with a skull and crossbones in it, which looks like poison, yeah. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. Um, okay, so roll to hit, plus four. Yep. Hey. Oh, did I do it? 12 plus four? Not quite. I'm There's a I'm six hit! No! Yes! Yes! You have a crystal? Dude, I'm using it. No, 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 no. I'm using it. <laughs> Thank you for the inspiration, everyone. If you've got those dream pies, do help so out our friends. Hey! It is an 18. It's yeah, worth it. Yeah, that was worth it, indeed. <laughs> worth that was, its that weight. was worth, worth it. Worth its weight in dream pies. Okay. And um, I so two d ten acid damage. Do it, critical okay. misses. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Uh -huh. How are you doing, raiders? We are in, in out of the abyss, battling earth elementals Seven, to eight, reconsecrate nine, ten, a 11, temple in uh, the city of Blingdenstone, the Svarfnebelin city. Welcome in, everybody. We have a giveaway going. Exclamation mark! Enter for the chance to win a CZRPG encounter bundle for your games. 
and we'll be drawing that at the end of the session in a short while. Don't worry if you can't stick around, we will be sending it in your whispers. Um, if you're not already, Lou, like Critical Misses, thank you very much. Give us a follow so we can get you in our followers' Discord and you can share your projects, chat about what's going on and hear all the news that we've got going on before anywhere else. Corbin, tell me how much damage you did. It's 12. And I have a really cool way of 12. doing the ending. Well, that's perfect because, as we like to say on the channel here, tell me what happens. I think the music's very appropriate for what I have uh, in plan too. So the whip that I said that, that we yep. have, um, we have canalized stuck yep. to this this one's arm. Corbin catches it in the um like like it's flailing around and they catch it and they use it to stabilize themselves and run up the elemental's like body wrap like wrap its arm like this around it and pull it down so it kind of like breaks its own neck and falls over. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um. So it's using the primal energy as well, right? So you. So yeah, you pull on the whip, you kind of like use the momentum of its swinging fist and swing up onto its side, run up the side of the right, creature. Just the right? acid, like yeah, this. Yeah, and you, first, yeah, you, you dig in your um, your extended fingernails and the acid burns away at its neck, dangerously burning away and like making it much more fragile. And then as you swing round and pull its own arm round the back of its head and use your full weights to drop down on the other side, there is a sickening crack and then a dunk, 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 dunk as the Earth Elemental's head crunches onto the ground below. And you are successful. And the Earth Elemental crumbles to dust and disappears into the floor of the cavern. And There's as you do so, <laughs> a, another <laughs> Galeb Dur, yes, emerges up out of the ground and is stood vigil it's back against the monolith of the temple here let's get rid of this and like scooches out of the way <laughs> <laughs> this one's over on the, other, on the opposite side here so it's over here okay. where the earth elemental fell um so yeah just appears over there and then chunk, chunk, into that defensive position again as um and as it does so there is a flare of light as the crystal reaches some critical point. Not a critical miss. <laughs> it's a critical point. Thank you for the raid once more. Um, and the um, various markings and kind of runic symbols on the monolith starts to glow brighter and brighter, and the entire chamber is illuminated in this um, kind of bright green glow. Um, green glow! No, it doesn't work. <laughs> and as um, you are able to complete the ritual or defend the monolith long enough for the ritual to complete, the two Gala Bader kind of stand up once more, turn to you all, nod solemnly, and then settle down again to defend this reconsecrated ground as yes. the Temple of Steadfast Stone is once more a holy site of Kaladuran Smooth Hands, the Deep Known's god of stone and mining. And you, my friends, are successful. I think we only have one more thing to do, technically. Woo. I can feel that it's taken effect, the, the ward over this area. It's, it's back. Yes. Actually, the two the two Galeb Dur like um, you know they can disguise themselves as boulders. They actually they, they they turn into their boulder forms and just kind of like rest on the ground there, guarding the temple. <laughs> just now. like frozen, like Fine. little trolls. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> little armadillos. Like little armadillos. Oh. <laughs> Corbin just like just like lays down, and I know it's not grass because normally the people would do this and it'd be grass. I know it's like rock, <laughs> but they like just fall back and just be like ah. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have to do that again. You wait. And look about. But a third Earth Elemental does not emerge. Oh. <laughs> and you and put the metal back on. Seem <laughs> <laughs> to have been successful. Shakushio flaps his red leathery wings, does a victory lap around, and just 
melts whatever's left of the of Earth Elemental. <laughs> you, you only get five more minutes of that, Sharkyshio. And yatta. then you come back over here. Yatta! 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 So. A million XP to everyone. I gotta learn Draconic. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, man, like, man, I, got, XP, I gotta right. learn Draconic. <laughs> 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 if only we weren't doing milestone leveling. <laughs> so everyone, yes, do feel free to mark somewhere on it your character sheets your million XP. Not draconic. Yeah, I should yeah. have chose draconic. Chose <laughs> abysmal. Abyssal? Abyssal? I just say abysmal every time. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love yeah. it. So good. So I was, that was the grades uh, they got. <laughs> All right. Yes, Corbin is not a good student. <laughs> Yeah, you, yes. you open because like yeah, because Draconic's Japanese, right? So you open up the book and it was just all kanji. You're like, nope. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Yeah, can Corbin's I done the book, equivalent of like learning person. it from anime. Uh, yes, I'm D &D just gonna comic. have Sharkishio talk to me <laughs> and just catch on. <laughs> We have um, we have lots of new friends in here. Yes, in the wacky verse, in all of our campaigns, Draconic is Japanese because myself and a lot of our players have have or do live here in Japan. And um, but the the initial decision was made because of my sons, who you know their English is pretty good, but their mother tongue is Japanese, and you know that is their first language above um, all else. So. Um, when we are playing D and D, um, I do from time to time like to give them the chance to chill out and speak in Japanese. So if they ever come across any kobolds, um, lizard folk, or um, draconic, um, you know, various uh, races, they can relax and speak some Japanese for a while, which is why it started <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> Their English is getting better and better. <laughs> like just make people that speak draconic rarer and rarer in the world. <laughs> right. Anyway. Let us continue. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, not as much as I would like D&D comic. As a, uh, a Japanese school student is a busy thing. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yes, yes, we do from time to time. They are a druid and a fighter. I, I always think of them uh, just sitting there in English classes in school. <laughs> the poor boys. Yeah. <laughs> like know, knowing the level of English that's taught uh, <laughs> in the schools. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Do feel you want this book? <laughs> I feel the same for all my poor students as well. I was like, uh, we did this like five, six years ago? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Thank you, everyone. So, um, so with the, the golems that were destroyed. Oh, sorry, yes. Zakan, I, th I think you, you would recognize the effect, this light that spilt out across the space. Um, it is the casting of a hallow spell. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I think before um, <laughs> when they had done like a detect magic kind of thing we we made it so it was a yeah. thing they recognized mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah. are you going to head back mm -hmm. out to the city would um would they know is this area now safe from the effect of ogremox bane um you in your knowledge of celestial things would think that a hallow spell would protect it from that yes yeah, like this kind of immediate area. But yeah, this temple, yes. So it'd be a good, yeah, yeah. a good place to uh, to flee flee to if you were being uh, attacked or pursued, perhaps. Yeah. Um, so I think what they do is they start um, untangling their net <laughs> from the golem, mm -hmm. and so sort of while they're just oh, um, yeah. working on that, um, yeah. saying to the other two, um, Elora, I, I feel I must speak to the rogue <laughs> briefly. <laughs> um, there is a. Roughly kiwi fruit sized ruby and emerald sat on the floor. On the floor? Mm -hmm. Not, not in the temple. Um, <laughs> in, you know, where the, uh, where the elementals disappeared. Ah, okay, yes, I will definitely swipe those yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're like disentangling the net and they, um, they go to turn to Alora, like, oh, the, um, you should be able to retrieve the gems. Oh, I see that you've done that. <laughs> so, appraising eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are quite valuable, from what I understand. <laughs> it's like, so. You bet they are. Um, okay, <laughs> make a start in your crown jewel collection. <laughs> now, <laughs> um, Zakan, I think Webster kind of apologetically kind of scuttles over on their large eight legs, your giant spider friend, and starts helping you kind of pick apart the webbing and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna take He's a second. Such a good boy. <laughs> I give Webster a little pat on the head and some like jerky. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's disappointed about the uh, unorganic nature of your enemies this time. 
damn it. Okay, so yeah, that's that's fine. That happens. The net is retrieved yeah. and still usable. This um, place um, should be safe from Ogremax Bane. Should we want to rest temporarily before going back out into the rest of this abandoned place? I know it's a walk before we arrive into the city. Before we started gathering pebbles, like like a pillow under them, and they're just like, uh-huh, rest. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yes, yeah, so you may, you're gonna take a short rest? Yeah. Okay, yeah, everyone click that short rest button. I'm all out of hit dice, but um, I think the others could probably use it. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't take any damage, I don't think. Nice. Thanks, protection from evil and Lucky good. You. Consistently right? been a great <laughs> spell to have down here in the Underdark. The spirit of Illustrae flows through you, and you feel <laughs> protected and warm in her embrace. <laughs> okay, so after taking a short rest, you double back and head back to the uh, where the Swift Neblin guards are keeping vigil. I think we were still meant to collect corpses if we can, right? Um, I mean, they mentioned you know, any that you came across, hmm. and you know, maybe a maybe a, a second foray after a long rest might be a good idea. Hmm. Might come across some other things. I mean. It's a big place. Look at all those tunnels. Who knows what's yeah. lurking out there? <laughs> Stop trying to make yes. us have intrigue. <laughs> Is that lurking? It's supposed to be. It's yeah. supposed to be a warning. <laughs> hey, no, if you assist. <laughs> all right, wait. So we're going back the way we came, though, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're gonna go back up the stairs through the large back cavern where with all the crystals. The yep, through that area then back up again to that first echoing cave where you heard the echoes of battle and where um, <laughs> Elora was aged by the ghost. <laughs> was it 20 years? A rough, a 40. rough 20 40, years. that's right. Like, was it 30 or 40? I thought it was 30. It was 30? Yeah, 30, 30, yeah, 30, that's right. It was, <laughs> which, but you were very, very young, so that's okay. <laughs> and, uh, I have a question. <laughs> yes. When we were fighting the Medusa and we were doing attacks that emitted a type of light, you said that they were enhanced by the crystals that were lining it, the walls. It was refracting around, yeah, and doing these kind of rainbow patterns over the ceiling, yeah. So if I were to take one of the, or some of the crystals and put them around my mace, would it make my mace more of a torch than it already is? Would it, would it make it make more light than what it already does? Um, you think if you visited, um, the trader's grotto there could be someone who could hook that up for you yeah. do the jerry rig it for me or like actually yeah. do that upgrade yeah, yeah i would like to collect some then okay so yeah as like, you're leaving good, yeah. like four. there are there are shards and things around you know on the floor mm -hmm. um that one that that poor petrified gnome was trying to use yeah i i feel like it'd be rude to take that one so i'm not <laughs> but, you know didn't Laura already take it, it. Quite possibly. <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we no, we took it before the uh, Medusa one. fight. Yeah, that, that's the one we. Yeah, that's the one we took there. Right, yeah. I have four shards of this crystal now. Okay, Man, we we do need a rest. We fought a ghost. We fought a Medusa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two no, golems. We, we, took, we took the short rest before we started and moving. Spoilers, right? spoilers. You avoided two other fights. <laughs> Heck yeah, we heard them. We ran away. Yeah. The only thing I have left on this list is a uh, this. Yeah, the, the Swarf Neblin finds uh, Remus, Remius. Why do I have Remius written down? I do not remember. Remius? Am I saying a name speech. wrong? Remius? <laughs> I have find Swarf Neblin and then I wrote Remius here for some reason. Remains? Hmm? Might be so remains. Remains, because yeah. you were supposed to collect like skeletons and things. Oh, yep, no, that makes more sense. This is a really dry pen. These <laughs> yeah, letters are like. All right, that's a free NPC <laughs> name for you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah, there you go, Remius. You're welcome. Put up there with pomegranates. We get back to the tower. He's like, "Hello, I am Remius." <laughs> I am Remius. You were looking for me. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a, a, a friend, friend of Zerilus, Ignatius Zerilus. <laughs> we have those. Was there more than just the skeleton we found uh, getting those gems under the bed? 
um, so you found just... that that was one, that was yeah. pretty much the only one you found. Yeah. So we can we that can bring this one, one back found. and sort of report in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then, let's get the heck out of here. That was everything on my list. Yeah, I don't so know you, if we had anything else. <laughs> you go back um, through. Go back uh, cautiously. We, we will not be tempted by any mysterious noises or sights. <laughs> Making a beeline yeah, no, for, right. for safety. Blinders. No more. So. Um, yes, the uh, the group of you emerge back through that staging area, uh, through the double doors, and you see the Sphere of Evelyn. Um, you kind of, I think they kind of they taught you like a secret knock, <laughs> so you like don't uh, don't uh, get a hail of crossbow bolts as you appear through the doors, and <laughs> um, as you emerge into that staging zone again. Um, all of the stuff and everyone kind of raise up in there and who has the Medusa? Do you like raise the Medusa head on high? <laughs> yeah, we, we do have it. Um, yeah, right. We did put it in something. It. It's like, <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's I fine. gave it to you. <laughs> I gave it to you, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> when you were sitting over there after we fought the Medusa, I gave you the head. Well, you weren't, you weren't here. I saw I gave the NPC you the head to hold on to. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, he um, as you as you emerge out, there is just like a um, a general kind of um, relief and and, uh, and you know joy that you have returned, and <laughs> even more so as you raise the Medusa head on high and show that you have defeated the monster of Rock Blight and your contact the. Um, leader of the guards here, Sark Axe Barrel, comes over and he's like, Oh, that's a, that's amazing. You defeated the creature. Does that mean that, uh, that Rock Blake's safe to, uh, to advance into? The rest of the area isn't necessarily safe, but the area around Rock Blight itself is reconsecrated and free from Ogremok's influence. I... I need to take you to the Digamatox right away. I'll, uh... We can report in and we can uh, form a, a, a larger force and we can... We'll, we can deal with anything that's left, surely. And uh, you kind of let them know about the temple being like hallowed ground if they need to re retreat. And um, they, mm -hmm. they are overjoyed to hear that that has um, come to fruition there. And as promised, you are given 150 gold pieces and... A large diamond worth a thousand gold pieces. Damn. I remember that one. <laughs> um, as as the uh, sergeant had promised, um, if you brought back proof that the Medusa was dead, and um, he leads you himself through the streets um, of Blingdenstone um, down to the southeast here, and all of you are led towards the um, leader's chambers. Wait, you two, come in. Why? Oh, I, I know. <laughs> Wrong window. Oop, there we go. Okay. Um, so yes, you are led triumphantly through the streets and burrows and bridgings. You know, the way the bridges, natural rock bridges kind of arch over and stairways bustling here and there. And um, and I think uh, Axe Barrel is going to be like singing your praises. He's like, hey, everyone. This lot have cleared out rock blight. The Medusa's dead. The creatures are dead. The temple is ours again. And it's just like a hey, hey, hey. It's like, hey. So, they, for some reason, they get ticker tape from somewhere and they're like throwing it from the <laughs> stone. <place. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> throwing uh, it from the balconies well, above you. It's like moss or well, something. We're... Yeah. <laughs> it's like moss. Great. I have a question for my fellow party mates, kind of like, as a, kind of wanting to use the cover of all the celebration to have. A hushed conversation as we're mm -hmm. walking mm -hmm. kind of a thing um wait so didn't we promise the uh the the, the where the where like, like they're trying to do like this with their mouth to make like like the teeth to say <laughs> yes, where yes. without saying where <laughs> like didn't we promise them we were gonna help them get that area so they could make it their own village area um the the were at uh, colonies to the north of the map here. Okay, There's so another, I'm re okay, so area. I was remembering the wrong area because I was like, wait. Yeah. wait. Windstone has many problems. Wait. <laughs> okay. 
So we're not done. <laughs> not quite, not quite. The area we were in was but one of many that was abandoned. Yes, indeed. And you are brought into the huge, wide open space beyond. You can see the way leading to the um, the inn where you're staying and where all of your NPC friends are uh, waiting for you. Um, and But you take a left there and climb up the steep stone steps to the hall atop the kind of plateau in the in this huge cavern within which the couple um, that rules Blingenstone and leads these people in their efforts to take back the um, the city from the various creatures that have moved in. Um, this is where they rule things and control everything. And the Svarfneblin guards open up the large stone doors, ponderously swinging back. And you duck inside, and the interior lit by these um, guttering torches. And the leaders, the Digimatoks, up on top of their dais with their large table. Um, with all the plans and things spread across it and all of the logistics that go on here and the um the wife of the couple stands um uh, with her husband as you approach and axe barrel um says good news our visitors here have ventured into rock blight and they have defeated the medusa that was plaguing our attempts to take it back and other creatures as well Apparently they've uh, re-consecrated the temple there. And the leaders look down on you and smile. A weary but heartfelt smile. And they say, We thank you. You have done a great deed for Blingdenstone today. And we hope that you are able to help us more in our various trials and tribulations. But you should be rewarded with nothing else other than a hearty meal and a long rest from the looks of you. And as the wife says that, her husband stands for, you know, steps forward. I, we are very appreciative of what you've done for us. And we cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for Blingdon. And he stops suddenly and coughs as a gout of dark blood splashes the steps in front of you and stepping from the shadows at the back of the dais you see a thin silvery haired drow moving forward a hood drawn over their face as they step from the shadows almost magically appearing in the throne room and there are shouts hey get out take my dog and the um the guards start rushing from the sides of the room and um the the wife of the couple like turns and like spins a hammer out from her belt who are you and the drow turns. My queen, the spider queen, sends her regards. <laughs> and <laughs> erupts in a shower of spiders, which just collapses to the ground, and the spiders just scuttle and disappear into the darkness of the chamber as the king of the Surf Neblin, King Digimatok, collapses to the steps, blood pouring from his frothing mouth as the drow poison courses through his veins. And we I shall too stop. Too late for us, uh, spare the dying. <laughs> we shall stop there, indeed. So you know how I mentioned that Candlekeep Mysteries player that died on <laughs> Saturday? They were a drow. And in their death, they were brought before their queen, Lolf, the spider queen of the demon web pits. And as she disappointedly was about to cast them 
into eternal torment. They did a very convincing persuasion check and pleaded with her, test me. And she set them a task. A task to return into the Underdark and dispatch with a troublesome Sphere of Neblin. <laughs> so, we shall join our adventurers and one half of the ruling members of Blingdenstone as we Madness. come back. <laughs> Sorry, Gobby. Madness! <laughs> <laughs> as we come back to Out of the Abyss next time. All right. Thank you, everybody. A massive, massive thank you for everyone who joined us today. Huge, huge shout out to Troll Lord Games and Critical Misses for those raids. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for everyone who stuck around. It's been a pleasure. As I said, if you're not already, please give us a follow so you can jump into our followers Discord and get all the news of what's going on and share your own news of what your projects are. We love hearing what everyone's up to. And... Um, if you're looking to play or looking for players for your game, there's a section to do that and all sorts of other things in there. And thank you all so, so much. Now, we have our giveaway, exclamation mark, enter to join for the CZRPG encounter bundle that we are giving away today. If you have not already, jump in there and we will um, decide our winner after we quickly figure out what is going on in the Wackyverse. Please do join us if you are able, as later on today or tomorrow morning, if you're in that part of the world, we will be back in Barovia as our Barovia and Beyond homebrewed Ravenloft campaign adventurers are fighting their way through the Amber Temple, trying to discover the libraries of lore within that will tell them how to restore the Ladies of the Thanes and return Barovia to the Material Plane. Then. Tomorrow, we do not have Wild Beyond the Witchlight, unfortunately, um, because of my son's graduation, as mentioned before. But we will be in Chisenta for Chisenta's tyranny later on. What will happen as they venture in to the abandoned, question mark, um, the headquarters of the Thieves' Guild of the ghost city of Heptios, having defeated the ghouls that were lurking within. Then, Saturday, we'll be back in Candlekeep Mysteries, back up in the moors of the Troll Claws, where Barovia will return to if it is successfully returned to the Material Plane. But right now, our adventurers are resting, knowing that the minions of the Shadow King are approaching close at hand. Seemingly after a magical artifact that the Were Ravens there in the mansion are safeguarding. They lost their friend to the Shadow Fell. But we shall see what happens tomorrow. Uh, sorry, on Saturday as we jump back in. That will bring us around into next week when we will be back in Icewind Dale for Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And then that will bring us all the way around to back here in the Underdark. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you want to catch up on any of our VODs and everything, we do have our socials. Check out the YouTube, Twitter and um, Instagram if you are so inclined. And we look forward to seeing you all again very very soon um corbin anything to shout out no not right now not right now okay um looking no, forward to that a little bit indeed indeed looking forward to that we so are we daisy <laughs> <laughs> not to have a tpk yes indeed all right thank you everybody let us see what is going to happen. Who is going to be the lucky winner of our giveaway today? I'm closing up those entries right now. There we go. Closed. Boom. Alright, everyone. Tonight's copy of the CZRPG Encounter Bundle is going to... Uh, Lee! Okay, that's going to get some good use. Excellent. Our friend Lee, a very talented streamer, lots of interesting talks about D&D &D and Warhammer and other things as well. Fantastic stuff. Congratulations, Lee. I'll be sending that to you over on Discord. Um, okay, massive thank you, everyone. Stick around as we are going to go raiding somewhere. We've got all these lovely people with us. Let's see who's on, where we can head to. Um, oh, lots of people are on. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Lee is on. Let us raid Lee and tell her the good news <laughs> that she won the giveaway. <laughs> okay, so everyone, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Stick around for that raid. Get yourself some of those Dream Pie channel points so that you can help me burn through lots of inspiration crystals today. So please um, do 
stack up those dream pies so you can help out our adventurers on their um, questing um, um, adventures. And we shall see you all again very, very soon. Okay, everyone, stick around for the raid if you've got them. Let those phoenixes fly. But as we like to say around these parts, till next time. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi. Thank you. Yeah.